Blessed be and welcome to the Circle of Hecker. I'm Lady Amaris. Uh, now you can see here I have a pentacle and this one's made out of wax. Let me have a look a little bit closer. Now the reason I've got this one here is again it's the hide in plain sight but um, you can understand that a wax pentacle uh, Let's say back in the day, um, pentacles were were made out of wax, and the idea is that if someone um, came to your door that was um, um, not um, of the craft or could um, send you to jail for um, for witchcraft, you could quickly put your wax pentacle into the fire. Um, you could. Um, quickly break it up and um, and um, it, it would you, you would not see that it was um, what it was because the wax would easily melt and uh, the evidence would would be gone um, so that's um, one way of, of having um, certain things is to have a pentacle that's that's made out of wax that um, can be melted if if need be uh, so it's a little idea these are one some of the ones that um, um, we make ourselves um, so um, so that's that's another idea and um, as you know the uh, the pentacle is also a uh, a, a small magic circle a, a mini magic circle so when you have something that's on your pentacle um, that uh, if your pentacle has been um, consecrated and charged um, correctly is a uh, effectively a uh, a small mini magic circle so it is the microcosm magic circle of the macrocosm magic circle that is constructed um, magically each time that you do um, construct a magic circle so um, when you're doing your spell work, you can place your spells on your pentacle and it would be effectively inside a magic circle. Now with the hide in plain sight, uh, this one here um, again is geared more towards um, the men, but it can be you know, with a little bit of imagination adapted to, to, to women. Um, so I've got what I have here is a couple of um, little necklaces. Let's move this out of the way. A couple of little necklaces that um, yeah, my um, my boyfriend's necklaces. Um, and you can see that we've got one which is like a as a shark tooth. We have the other one here, which is a um, group of, of three coins, um, and the last one is a jade um, is a jade hook. So, so we've got the jade hook. We have the three um, coins. See there, we've got a little bit of a little bit better. We've got some dragons on those. Um, and then the last one we have our shark tooth. Now the reason I've got these is because um, if you're not able to um, let's see if we can get a little bit a little bit. If you're not able to wear anything um, like a pentacle, um, so let's have a look if we can see what I have on my um, my necklace. It's not um, not something that I have on all my necklaces, but obviously I have my pentacle. Uh, I have a crown, which reminds me that I am sovereign. Um, I have a key which is to remind me that uh, I have the ability to open any any lock. I have the keys to all the locks. And lastly, I have the hand of Fatima, which is a, um, a protection um, symbol. Oh. 
okay so um, if you take the pentacle out none of those would look that um, out of place on someone's someone's neck it's not until you have the oh my gosh there's the pentacle uh, that people start to to give you a few strange looks now if you're a guy and you don't want to wear a pentacle or you can't wear a pentacle because where you live um, doesn't allow that whether it is the fact that um, you live in a country that um, just the the mere mention of witchcraft can mean your death um, or it just means that you happen to live in a certain um, city or town where uh, it is a predominantly um, let's say a, a Christian or, a, or another faith that does not that does not um, see uh, witchcraft in a in a positive light then it wouldn't be conducive to your own um, health to to be wearing a pentacle so there are certain things that you can wear now I got these because they are you know, manly um, and um, you can wear them uh, now what you would do obviously with any uh, jewelry that you wear is that you would charge it so you have your pentacle um, so that's uh, that's looking at for, for me and um, all those people that uh, uh, are getting all worried because the uh, pentacle is uh, around the wrong way for them there you go that's up the right way for uh, for you uh, so you can feel good <laughs> we'll talk about the pentacle in in, uh, in another another um, video so you can charge your your necklace so you would charge it obviously with protection you would charge it with the ability to be your shield be your armor your protection against um, against all foes um, foes that are mental astral and physical uh, it is your your guardian and your protection so you would um, have this as again as your shield in front of you and uh, once you have charged that then you can wear it and as I said before it doesn't look overtly witchy now you can also use other symbols you can have a onk you can have a uh, equal arm cross um, if you have an equal arm cross and you happen to live in an area that is quite Christian you I would doubt that any Christian would um, would look at it in a, in a strange way so the equal arm cross is the solar cross um, um, or if you want it to be a little uh, little quirky then you can use those symbols that are um, you can use a Christian cross. You can use uh, the the fish symbol, which is the original symbol of um, Christianity, one of the original symbols. Um, you can use, as I said, an onk. You can use any other uh, type of symbol that um, you want, actually, because they are all religious symbols of protection and. Uh, when you distill it back to its original form they are all symbols of the same energy the same deity depending on on how you how you view it so you can use those symbols of hiding in plain sight charging it to the intent that you want is for protection um, and um, then you can wear that symbol and um, not be harassed and accosted by uh, people who um, are ill-informed about uh, certain things. So I hope that helps. Um, I have a few 
pictures of different symbols and different um, ideas that you can use. Um, and I hope that gives you a few ideas. Um, merry meet, merry part, and merry meet again. Blessed be.